And here we go again, another Saturday morning in beautiful Melbourne. Today we are at this skate park in Wallen, which is an hour and a half away. Beautiful skate park, a lot of fun training, and also some camels. Just an average day here in Melbourne, uh, just skating and camels. Uh, really great time. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's on. <laughs> that was like a boomerang. You're saying one more. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Good day today then. All right, I'm here from the future. Really smooth transition here. <laughs> um, I'm just editing this week's video and it got me thinking, um, I'd really like to know how many of you guys mountain board and how many of you guys skateboard or even if you do both. So there'll be a little white box that'll appear here and that'll be a poll. So you can click on that little box and there will be some questions on there and if you could answer that, that would be great because I'm really trying to figure out how many of you mountain board, how many of you skateboard, how many of you do both. If it doesn't appear up there, I don't know why, but you can write a comment below. That'd be great. Uh, also, let me know if you do any other board sports, surfing, wakeboarding, um, snow season's coming up, so we're probably gonna be heading up the mountain a fair bit. So let me know if you wanna see some snowboard vlogs. Um, but yeah, I'm just editing this little bit now of me and Mikey in the city, so enjoy. Welcome. Break your face on your wedding day. Look how funny I am in front of my friends. Ah. Michelle, don't fall on your dress. Ah. <laughs> It's the next day and we are mountain boarding here in Beaconsfield. 
It's the Arvo on the hill. And it's quite sunny, great weather. Ground's a bit squelchy, so things, some things are a bit slow. But we're making it work. We've got the uh, young money crew up on the hill here. Here we go, Benjamin Cross dropping in. What's been happening today, Ben? Dylan's been abusing me like usual. <laughs> Same I have with not. Jason. Um, and why do you think that is, Ben? <laughs> because <laughs> no, nothing. Because he won't take me the. He wa He wants me to take him to the mount, the wakeboard park, but really, I'm not going to. That's a great story. Tell us about your day, Layton. <laughs> Day's been great. There's been lots of jumps and lots of tricks happening. Um, there was. Oh, there was no race. This is not the Becky Bash, mate. This is Arvo on the hill. I heard the. I heard a rumor there was going to be a race. Well, maybe you could race Ben. Right now? Yep. Should I challenge him? You should challenge him. Where's the course? Uh, wherever you decide. Alright. Alright. Fun. Bye. Why YouTube? You want to give someone a shout out? No. Special someone? No. What's the name? No. <laughs> Show us a new board. Okay. MBS. Yeah? What's on it? Solar system. Solar system? Yeah. When did you get it? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday? Well, uh, after yesterday. And the people are telling me you got two boards. Yeah. What's the other board called? Um, Pro 90. Wait, Pro... I'm pretty sure my dad stole that one. Pro 9, I think. Pro 95? Yeah, Pro 95. Yeah, don't know awesome. my dad has it. He stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Craig stole it, has he? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. You having fun today? Yep. You're doing really good. And you went off the big jump too? Yeah. Kinda. Hey, give me a high five. Great job. <laughs> Send it. Oh <laughs> yeah, Craig. Winner for the craziest rider today. I reckon Max gets that. Angry little face. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. So I hear this time and time again, people have two problems with mountain boarding. The first one being that number one, they have no one to ride with. Um, and the second thing is that they have nowhere to ride their mountain boards or skateboards. So today I'm going to give you a 10 step guide on how to go riding, have fun and ride anywhere you want, anytime you want. So step number one is get pumped up, get ready to go riding. I know it's an effort to go outside, but you can do it. So what I like to do is go on YouTube, Vimeo, whatever, and find a sick mountain board video that I like, watch it, get me pumped, get me motivated to go ride for the day. Step number two, probably is equally as important as step number one, is uh, go and get yourself an iPod, iPad, iPhone, any sort of music playing device, plug in your headphones, and turn up your favorite playlist. Step three, get yourself or build yourself a ramp. Um, the ramp I'm about to show you cost me under $50. Um, if you can't afford that though, you can go and find some wood, find some timber. Um, you can get tim free timber from Gumtree, Craigslist on the internet. Or you can go and ask your local builder if they've got any scrap materials. I've done all this before and that's how I've built most of my ramps. Step number four, get your ramp, take it over to your local park or even just set it up in your street. Today I haven't got my truck, it's in the mechanic, so I'm just going to wheel it over.
All right, once you've got your ramp set up on the hill, go up the hill, strap in, ride down, do as many tricks as you can do. Do all the tricks you're most confident in doing um, and try to get them as smooth and stylish as you can. And don't stop trying that trick until you get it perfect. <laughs> I totally missed the grab on that one. I'm going to do it again. All right, this is where things start to get interesting. Um, we're going to start doing all of our tricks we just did, but we're going to learn how to do them switch. So if you don't know what switch is, it's riding your ball backwards. So I ride regular, I'm going to ride goofy, and that's called riding switch. So this is actually how I learned how to ride switch pretty consistently for a couple of weeks. Might have been longer. I'll go out every night uh, during the week, uh, bring out a little ramp on a hill like this, and just keep trying, do a trick, 180, front side 180 regular. Then the next one, I'll go and do switch 180, front side. So it's just that repetition, going and going. All right, here we go. All right, I'm not gonna lie, that's the first time I've ever tried that trick, switch. Uh, let's see if I can get a good one. I think I can do that a little bit better. All right, I think I'm happy with that one. Uh, moving on to the next tree. All right, music change. Mr. Grab again, gotta go again, game, get. All right, once you're confident with your switch game, get your ramp, go look for something different to ride. Think outside the box and uh, try something new. So I'm gonna try to up this tree here. It kind of ended up being pretty hard. I had to come down the hill as fast as I could to get through the slow dirt around that tree that's directly in front of this tree, turn and then hit the right off the tree. Fun times though. So the next thing I want to talk about is if you can't honestly get onto a ramp, you can always go out after work, after school and practice some basics, some flat land tricks, 360s, 180s on the flat land, some nose rolls. So next time you're hanging out with the boys or girls, you're ready to peep that game, son. One of the good things about social media these days is you can easily edit a video, you know, even just on your iPhone, as easy as that, and put it up on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, yeah, put it up on the, online and see what everyone else thinks of your stuff. Because I guarantee, by now, it's gonna be sick. All right, so in a nutshell, if you wanna get better at mountain boarding, you need to stop just riding at events, you need to get out every week, at least a couple of times a week, and practice and practice and practice. If you really love mountain boarding, you're really passionate about it, same with skateboarding. Anything you do, um, you're only gonna get better if you keep repeating it, keep looking back at your skills and trying to improve on the daily. So on that note, um, if you go out after school, after work, you go on out by yourself, you go on riding, you're trying to find something to ride, Get some video, I want to see that stuff and hashtag I ride alone and tag me in it and I'll check out your footage and repost it on my Instagram. So make sure you do that. Also, this weekend on Sunday we're doing mountain board lessons at uh, Car Maker Mart in Pakenham. So come and check that out if you want to give mountain boarding a try. And also, um, there is still a couple of people who haven't sent me an address for the stick competition. I did a couple of episodes back, so if you haven't sent me through your address, make sure you do it and I'll send you out some stickers. But uh, as always guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit the little bell notification so you get notified when we put out new videos and hit subscribe. Until next week, namaste.